But first tonight, leaders in Kansas City, Kansas and Wyandotte County say they plan to investigate every single case former detective Roger Golubski was involved in during his time with the KCK Police Department. So this comes just days after Golubski was indicted on federal sex trafficking charges. He's also charged with civil rights violations involving sex crimes. And so now a team will thoroughly inspect 155 cases spanning from 1988 to 2002. We understand they're looking for three things. First, was policy and procedure followed in these cases? Second, were the investigative techniques used ethical and legal? And third, does evidence in the cases support identification of the suspect? Roger Golubsky has been charged with deplorable crimes. Although the crimes date back 20 to 25 years ago, he did wear the uniform and caused pain to members of this community and shame to the badge. Some strong words there. Some of Golubsky's alleged victims and their families were at police headquarters during this afternoon's news conference. KSHB 41 News reporter Abby Dodge sat down with them as they waited for more information on this investigation. Have this day here, it actually feels, it feels all right. I see some progress coming. After a federal indictment Friday, a grand jury taking action against former KCKPD detective Roger Golubsky and others in an alleged sex trafficking ring. Ophelia Williams Petaway says Golubsky raped her years ago. I'm glad I was here to share my story. Star Cooper believes Golubsky killed her mother. She started the day with a ray of hope. What are you hoping happens? I hope everyone that was connected I hope everyone that was connected be convicted. It would never be enough because I can never bring my mother back. So, I mean, but to get them convicted and make them pay for what they, they did to all of our families, then I feel like that's a start. Alleged victims and their families were hoping to walk into the police department and ask their own questions about the investigation. But the only people invited to today's press conference were members of the media. If you're helping the community, why can't the community be involved? You should have been in a big enough space to where we all could have been involved to where we could have asked questions. The biggest concerns for victims and their families? Why is KCKPD investigating its own case files? The DOJ coming in to investigate a current police department based on things that happened 20, 25 years ago. Um, that's something that the DOJ would have to answer, but normally that's not the way they operate. I've been dealing with this for a while, so I don't see any. I don't see them doing anything different. From hope to hesitation in just a few hours. In KCK, Abby Dodge, KSHB 41 News.